I'm Steve, this is Brandon, this is Vanderbonds Wildlife. Well, check it out, we got a new net. It's a big sucker, what is that? 12 foot. 12 foot. One half inch mesh. Uh, Brandon's the net thrower of the family. I haven't quite mastered it. I, I just let him do it, I'm kind of spoiled, but I wish I was running video because he just tried it for the first time off the boat. And guess what? He went with it. Bloop, phone, wallet, everything. So hopefully, the phone will be okay but anyway it was kind of fun here we are trying to catch bait the new net but we're going to go inshore into some of the canals today um, see if we can't catch some sheephead black drum something along those lines so we can do a catch clean and cook do something real fun today you guys will enjoy it stay tuned we'll see you guys when he gets some bait I know most of you know what pilchards are and most of you Floridians. Amazing how many friends you get when you got bait on the boat. There's a pinfish that we just netted. You can see where he was hooked before. Okay, somebody actually let him go. And he came right back here. Shows you how tough they are. So what we're trying to do is go to pilchards here and we're trying to try some different hooks and some different ways of putting the hook in the bait just to kind of see what works the best and yes i'm using my daughter's new pole her birthday present there's one that's a sheep head it's a good one too b grab the net probably don't need to but only got 15. He's a definite keeper. Yeah, baby. We got dinner. All right, so this is sheephead. They got to be 12 inches overall length to keep. As you can see by the mouth, they have a bunch of teeth in there that they use for crushing crustaceans and different things that they feed on there. Beautiful fish, very white, flaky meat. Gotta watch it though. These guys right here, they bite. He already got me. What's up everybody? You know, you kids used to love it when I talked like that with these guys. What's up? A 12 inch overall length. And you got yourself a nice little fish taco right there. Let's go get some more, buddy. Got him, bro. Oh, that's a that'll keep. Yeah, that's a nice one. Let me get, get the kit. measure on it just in case. Yeah. Nice 11 and a quarter snapper. It's what we were after. Wait till you see how we're gonna prepare these guys. It's gonna be amazing. Oh, redfish. Don't lift him. Don't lift him. Don't lift him. He's jumping. I hope we can get it, get that hook out. All right, yeah, I just caught this guy off of a uh, shrimp. We just threw him underneath the dock. Uh, unfortunately, we can't keep these because of the red tide. Beautiful. He's a young little red drum, red fish as they're called. He's got two spots on that side and two spots on that side. Normally they only have one, but they can have just spots everywhere. But check out the mouth. See how it's on the lower part facing down. They can just cruise the bottom and pick up little crabs and shrimp and beautiful fish. Now, he's not big enough, he doesn't make slot, but in this county we're not allowed to keep him due to the red tide. So we want to get him back in the water as quick as we can. Be. There he is. 
Good job, bud. Oh, that's a bigger one. Nah. Yeah. Oh, what? oh, what is that? What? A little, oh, that's a he big, fought, here, though. let me see him. Jeez. Like. <laughs> Lizard fish. I thought it was maybe a nice sheep. I've fish. come to suck your blood. You these guys are so aggressive. They eat. You should see the stuff that these guys will eat. Calm down. I'm kind of embarrassed now. He wants to get me. He wants to get me. Dang. Hello, LA. Hello, LA. Redfish. No, oh, it's a big old. He's uh, decent. No, we don't. We don't want to net him because we gotta let him go. We net him. He'll. It's a nice trout. Wow, that's a good one. Look at the snaggle tooth on him. Hey, we got one here too. And the pinfish. Uh oh, I got. I didn't look at. I got two fish on. I don't know what to do here. That one's gone. A little red how about that that's crazy they both went off at the same time hear him drumming Look at that, it's got, he's got like a black mark, like a spot on his tail. This guy's got literally no spot there, one spot on that side. One spot over here. Okay, so I think we're gonna wrap up the canal fishing here we got a couple of good snapper a couple of sheephead tomorrow we're going to come back to this house right here and do our clean and cook going to be pretty sweet we've got a different way of doing it um, and we'll explain that a little more tomorrow we left yesterday we were catching fish literally in the backyard she's going to show us something that Basically, she learned as a kid. So we've got a sheep head and a snapper, mangrove snapper that we're gonna be cooking today. The reason I wanted to do this is because I've been watching him, how he wasted so much meat on this type of fish, the smaller ones. And I told him that we could cook the whole fish and that way you take advantage of most of the meat that he has. So right now we're gonna clean it. We're gonna, uh, how do you call Scale that? It. Scale it. Scale um, it. Clean it really good. And uh, we're gonna come back and show you how we are going to season it and how we're gonna cook it. This is a um, recipe that I learned from when I was a little one that my mom used to um, use. Uh, on and the where, where, where did you come from? Uh, I came from Mexico, from the Gulf side of Mexico. We are on, on the Gulf, we're still, but we are in the United States in Florida, and uh, I used, I grew up in, uh, in the other side of the Gulf. Mm -hmm. So I'm very familiar with fish and uh, all the seafood that we get right here. Mm -hmm. So, so what what I did yesterday is after Brandon and I caught them, we kept them alive. We didn't have ice with us, so we put them right into ice as soon as we got off the water. And I went ahead and. Uh, remove the innards just because I think that if you leave that in there too long it can taint the meat or make it taste a little different. We're in the backyard. Okay yeah we're gonna cut one leaf to for the fish so this is my backyard and I'm gonna cut the leaf right now. Now I'm gonna cook it because it's gonna be a lot easier to work with. Can you hold it for me? Now we're gonna need one of those limes. Definitely a messy process. See, this is the right side and this, okay, what, what, what can I say? This is the top, top and this is the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that, that's how you want to cook it. 
this way because that way then you can, you can see, see the, the color change you can see the color change so you go all over again and by doing this she said that it makes the leaf more pliable so it doesn't break or doesn't rip and then also yep. it doesn't bleed green out onto your food because if you don't do this process the green will leach out of the leaf and get into the food that's right you said it better than I do no I didn't there you go it smells good it does smell good mm -hmm. that's what we use in Veracruz Mexico to wrap up the tamales you know the most popular tamales here in the states are the ones that they're being made with um, corn husk. Corn husk, is that mm -hmm. what you call it? Okay, the part where I'm coming from, we always use banana leaves. They're so much better to me, anyway. So we use banana leaves for a lot of things. You can use it for many things. I cook meat with this also. Um, barbacoa. We're gonna make a video. Next week. Sounds good. I'm gonna cook whatever I got for Christmas. Okay, it's done. See how quick it was? Yep. Now we're gonna rip it off again. This is how I do it myself. So much easier for me. I grew up doing this for my mom whenever she made tamales. We used to fix. It. Okay, this is for the compost. Nothing goes to waste. Alrighty. Now that we have this, those ready, I'm put it over here. Well, there's the fish all scaled. Now she's going to show us how to wrap them up and cook these puppies. Now we have the fish clean. See, you can see right here. So I'm just going to dry it off pretty quick because you don't want a lot of water in there. So you want to you want to juice the juices of it, which you're going to have lots of them in. You want to dry it off completely. This is what you're going to do. You need to make those cuts so the seasonings go inside and penetrate the, the meat. And this is Himalayan? Himalayan salt, yes. Is it the pink? Yes, the pink salt. It has 84 plus minerals in it. So every, 84 plus, 84 more plus minerals? minerals in it, yeah. That's why you don't want to use table salt for anything. So we're just going to add some salt. Then you want to do the inside too. Then I have fresh garlic right here. If I can open it. I mean my garlic. I don't like to buy it. I buy my fresh garlic and I mince it. And make sure you put some inside those cuts. But the best part it goes inside. I might put a little bit more salt there. I think it's enough. Then you want to wash, I mean, you want to cut some of this onion. I like to put onions and everything and garlic. So I'm going to cut some slices. Just going to put them inside. And then, do you remember? my lime from my tree this is what i have so you're gonna get some slices also tiny slices right here make sure you don't put the seeds in there because those are pretty dark a couple of them a little more salt okay once this step is done, so I can add some olive oil so it doesn't stick. Just a little bit. You can you don't need a lot if you don't want a lot of fat in it because we like to eat a lot of avocados, so we don't need that much fat from here. Now, so you said you don't need the fat as much fat from the olive oil you eat? Yeah, because I'm, uh, I like to eat this with avocados when I make the tacos. Okay. I like to eat this with avocados when I make the tacos. Okay. I like to put avocado in it, so you got plenty fat in there. 
the fat yeah. had the fat from an avocado is much more healthy from the fat yes. from the oil is what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, olive yep. oil, organic olive oil is good for you, but even if it is a good fat, you don't want to do too much. Okay. So. So the oil is just to help it not stick, right? Not stick, yeah. So does the banana leaf allow it to steam or? Yes, it's going to steep. All the flavors are going to stay in there. Um, but also, um, it, it's going to add um, not just the flavor of the fish. The banana leaf is going to add flavor to, to it. Okay. The taste, it tastes different when you make you wrap it up in banana leaf. And I'm going to put it right here on the hat grill is about 400 degrees, it's a medium, medium high, that's what it is. Okay. I'm going to show you. This oh smells so good. It smells amazing. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, man. Mm. That Banana leaves gives it so a good flavor and, and it smells so good. Look, this is done. And just right in the grill on my stove, this is completely done. Now we're gonna make tacos, okay? Yeah. So you don't have to um, eat tacos from the street. This is very healthy stuff. Look, look, this meat. Try it so you know. Mm, mm. I'm gonna try it right here. And I even eat the skin. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, that is amazing. Oh, this is so oh good. my goodness. My salsa is right, right here. I'm gonna show you. I have some onion, chopped uh, cilantro here, and lamb juice. And we're gonna make some tacos. We have a corn tortilla that I just hit up. And now I'm gonna add some of this fish in here, which is gonna be so good. And that's how we eat it in Veracruz. Then this is uh, optional. You can add a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of onions, a little bit of lime juice. Mm -mm -mm. And now let's try this one. This is a green salsa that is homemade. I made it. I just made it too. And depends how hot you like it. And that's how you're gonna eat it. I want you to try this, Steve. And we eat it with those beans that I just cooked this morning. We're going to add some Mexican um, cheese right here. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. You have no idea what you're missing there. You are you are the, the other side of the camera. Oh, I can't ah, wait. This is delicious. Okay. Try All it. All right. Well, I'm going to try it. Cheese is amazing too. Oh yes. So you just made this salsa today. That's yes, amazing. I just made this salsa. Wow. So when are you gonna come over and cook for us? <laughs> I'm cooking for you uh, today. That's true. I gotta try the fish too. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't even fish. tell you how good this smells. It is amazing. The cilantro, the crunch of the onion, the fish is outstanding. Well, that was amazing, guys. I wish you guys could all taste this because you'd never forget it. I want to thank you, Dora, for You're everything. And we're going to do this a lot more. Yes, we got to make the sauces. Yep, and we got to do... There's so much more she, she does that we love. And... Uh, I'm sure if you guys put in the comments below whether you like, make sure to subscribe. It's free and it'll help our family out a great deal if you do. But thank you, Dora. You're welcome. I'm yeah. happy to do it. I mean, I enjoy cooking, so especially when it's for my family. There you go. Thank you, guys. God bless you, and we'll see you next video.